New at six, nothing says Pittsburgh like H.J. Hines, a company with more than 100 years of history right here in the Steel City. And starting tomorrow, that history is on display in a brand new exhibit at the Hines History Center. That's tomorrow. But tonight, Ray Petlin goes inside for a sneak peek. The best of the Besides steel, Heinz is probably the most known export from Pittsburgh. People know about Heinz all over the world. It's one of the most recognizable brands in the world. And building that reputation has made for a lot of Heinz history in the city. And starting this weekend, that history is on display at the Heinz History Center. People come to the History Center expecting to learn about Heinz. Announcing the first televised ketchup race. There's been a display at the History Center for a while, but with the new Heinz CEO came an idea for a bigger exhibit. Bernardo Hess, the new CEO of Heinz, and I talked soon after he arrived in town, and he believed that we needed a new and improved Heinz exhibit. This new exhibition we are unveiling today is a gift to the city, it's a reminder of our commitment to Pittsburgh. From the transition of using fish and ketchup instead of tomatoes to the number 57, you'll find a complete history of Heinz at this new exhibit. You can expect to find 570 artifacts, commercials from the last 75 years, and you can expect to find rare artifacts that uh, they're only one of a kind. You used to get one of these, a pickle pin, for taking a tour of the Heinz plant. Now, you can get a pickle pin for taking a tour of Heinz history here at the Heinz History Center for the first 57 days of the exhibit. In Pittsburgh, I'm Ray Petlin with a pickle pin, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. <laughs>